Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What Ted Says, where it's always time to get a fatter wallet and a bigger net worth. That's what we do here on your path to becoming a millionaire or more. I've, I've built my own over the years, but I want to give you this advice so I can help you do better uh, with your overall uh, finances. As always, just uh, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can get all this uh, great information in your, your mailbox. Hit the notifications bell. When we put out content, we'll, we'll generally do that on Mondays and and uh, and Thursdays. You can also go to Amazon to get my best-selling book, The 21-Day Budget Cleanse. This is like doing a diet detox on your finances. Now, one tip I want to give you is when you think about shopping at department stores, and, and I'm going to give you some of this consumer scoop in here. This one is going to be at Target. Target right now has roughly 45 private label brands. And if you don't know what that term private label means. It means that big uh, department stores or drug stores, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Target, any one of those stores, if you think about how they make money, there's two ways to make money. You make money on distribution or you make money on manufacturing. Now, the real beauty is if there's a way to manufacture products and then ultimately distribute them, then you've got both ends of the deal licked. Uh, so what ends up happening is a lot of these companies will put all the store brand products, all the name brand products that you like in their store, and then they will try to create other brands over time that are their store brands. What many people learned from Costco years ago is that you, if you have a brand in there that isn't actually the name of the store, so Costco has something called Kirkland, which is their main private label brand, People look at that brand, and if they're buying anything from crackers to uh, you know buying mattresses, if that brand looks like it's reasonably as good as the as the name brand, but the price is a lot cheaper, then they may end up doing business. So here's the scoop for you here on what Ted says. In Target, there are many things that you can buy, but if you have uh, kids you want to take a look at Cat and Jack clothing line. That is one of the 45 private label brands that Target has. And here is the Cat and Jack guarantee. And you might want to write this down. If any time after you buy those clothes from Target, within one year, if you have those clothes that are worn or they're torn or your kid sprouts up and they outgrow those clothes, Cat and Jack, with a receipt uh, that's showing that you bought those clothes within one year, they will allow you to trade in those clothes and get a brand new set of clothes uh, for your child. That's tremendous because when you think about the cost of a growing young child, a lot of people try to trade clothes with family members or they look to consignment shops, but that's one of the advantages of shopping in Target that they won't necessarily tell you and that's why I'm giving it to you right here on what Ted says. It's called the Cat and Jack One Year Guarantee. It's something you might want to be thinking about if you're buying clothes for your kids. Watch for those private label brands. Ask if there are deals or guarantees like that at the store with the private label brands, and you'll put some more dollars in your wallet. This is this episode of What Ted Says. Check out all my other episodes. We have ones that are going like gangbusters, like how to buy a used Tesla, or should I buy savings bonds, or how do I deduct business mileage, and many, many more. You're watching What Ted Says.